in this video i am going to show you the complete design and drawing of one way ribbed slab the given scenario is presented the left side of the screen shows the framing plan of the slab the given fc prime is 5 ksi yield strength of steel is 60 ksi floor height is 10 feet and it is a single story structure Columns are 16 inch by 16 inch and the periphery beams are 8 inch by 24 inch. The center to center span is as shown. The live load is 40 PSF. Super dead load for finish is 36 PSF. We have to calculate thickness of the slab, the ribs, dimensions and the spacings. We have to design the reinforcement of the ribs and the slab and detail the slab framing drawing using ACI 31814. Let's check whether the slab is one way or two way. Starting with dimensions, the ratio of longer to shorter span is 2.2 which is greater than 2. So it's a one way slab. Now starting with the e taps part, first we need to define the grids according to the given scenario. The spacing of grids in X is 20 and in Y it's 22 which makes that 44 feet in span since there is beam on periphery we start with defining the material properties starting with the concrete material properties let's say 5000 psi or 5 ksi then defining the reinforcing bar which is 60 grade steel so now it's already defined. We can rename it so that it's easy to select or identify whatever we defined. Let's rename it as G60 deformed. The section properties for the frames. Delete the unnecessary properties which would not be in your use. Now add the properties starting with the column property that was 16 inch by 16 inch selecting the material for the column entering the dimensions of the column in the window the crack moment of inertia is 0 0.7 of the gross moment of inertia which we have to incorporate in property modifiers as 0.7 according to ACI code now select the steel which you defined for the reinforcing bars importantly select reinforcement to be designed right now our concern is design of the slab so it's not very important whatever option you select now defining beam properties Dimensions were given as 8 by 24 for the periphery beams entering the property modifiers according to ACI code to incorporate crack moment of energy. You may take torsional constant as 0 0.001 so that beam does not take any torsion or very minimum torsion and the slab is itself designed to resist the torsion. Selecting the properties of reinforcing bars. So now we are done defining the beams cross section. Now we need to define the slab cross section for that we need to calculate the slab thickness. Since it's a ribbed slab so that's L by 18.5 and it's one end continuous. The panel thickness is 12.1 inches. Typically enhanced slab thickness 40% as ribs are hollow. Slab is usually 3 to 5 inches thick apart from rib. Assuming slab as 4 inch thick, depth of rib is 8, 13 inches, subtracting the total 17 inches. So the ribs are usually 6 to 4 inch wide, assuming 4 inch width, 
ribs are usually two to five feet apart let's take them as two feet center to center we have to revise these assumptions if the slab fails in flexion we don't have to check for shear since there will be no punching as the slab is on beams or ribs if you don't want if you want to understand the difference between shell thin and membrane you have to go to the link in description provided for the video right now as i am assuming we have gone through that so let's select shell thin now incorporating the bread moment of inertia according to the aci code that is 0.25 in bending for the slab click on ribbed the overall depth is 17 inches the slab thickness is 4 inches assumed the stem means the ribs dimension since the rib is same in dimension as plop top and bottom it is important to understand local one axis is in x direction usually so we want ribs to be placed in x direction as it is the shorter direction or the shorter span and will be the main span of the one way slab so the ribs are placed in one way or the shorter dimension that's why we selected local one axis now we will go to automatic mesh options the maximum mesh shall be of 3 feet by 3 feet the smaller the mesh size the fine accurate will be the results adding the super dead load case to the concrete slab design we have to incorporate the code which we want to be used for the design and also check the cover since the slab is not exposed to moisture so taking the cover as 0.7 inches which is already defined now we are adding the default load combinations according to the code which we picked for the design now we will be modeling the structure since it's a one story structure make the bottom supports of the column as fixed if your condition is as such it depends on the condition Now we need to draw the beams using the cross sections which we defined. Now the next step will be modeling the slab. The important point to be noted in modeling the slab is that the slab shall be modeled clockwise if you are using the draw slab option or randomly pick the option which I have picked if you want the slab to be drawn between the grids which will draw the slab on a single click so now I am using that option now we are done with modeling the slab or basically we are done with modeling the structure for which the slab is to be designed the next step will be to assign the loads on the slab let's assign the live load first Super dead load were given as 36 psf. You may rectify the loads by right clicking on the panel. 
uh, we need to draw the strips since it is a one way slab then only one strip is required in the shorter direction parallel to the shorter directions because the main reinforcement will come in the shorter direction which is perpendicular to the longer direction that is of 44 feet and in inches it is twice of 264 inches that means on both sides 264 inches will be the strip width and the reinforcement will be mainly in the short direction or the main reinforcement is in the short direction we need to select the material which we defined for the slab and specify the cover which you want to use in the design that is 0.75 inches and then click on ok now we need to run the analysis before analysis it will prompt us to save the model let's save it and then it's running the model now we need to design this lab it's story 1 so click on story 1 now check the reinforcement importantly check impose minimum reinforcing option let's start with the top reinforcement let's take it as number 6 we need to evenly distribute the bars the span is of 44 feet or 528 inches divide into 57 bars that gives us 9 inch spacing or you can say number 6 at 9 inch center to center as top reinforcement for the bottom reinforcement that is in ribs we need to make sure that the reinforcement can be placed within the ribs and also calculate the number of ribs according to the center to center dimensions or spacing between the ribs So now we will start detailing the slab section. Starting with the top pane which we already found out in the first place. It was number 6 at 9 inch center to center. Top main. Let's calculate the distribution top bar. It is calculated on the basis of the minimum requirement that is 0.18 percentage and the area of steel minimum per feet is 0 0.0018 into 1 feet width or 12 inches into effective depth gives us the intensity of area per feet. The spacing of number 3 bars area of the bar divided by the area of steel required let's say number 3 add 18 inches center to center don't place the bars apart more than 18 inches or less than 3 inches typically practically it is difficult to execute now for the ribs we have to calculate number of ribs the longer span divided by the center to center distance between the ribs that was 2 feet the longer span is 44 feet which gives us 22 ribs and the number of bars in each rib is 1 so the total space for bottom steel in the ribs is number of bars in each ribs into number of ribs that leaves us 22 bars placeable 
in the ribs as bottom steel. So we need to select such a diameter that the bars can be placed. That is number nine bars. We require we can round up the number of bars, but we must not round down the bars so that it would be under designed for the given load conditions. It is important to understand that how the cross section was cut. On the left side, you can see the framing plan. And the section of AA was cut perpendicular to the shorter direction so that we can see the cross section of the ribs. Now we have to edit the nodes for the structure drawing which is mandatory. Slab is 4 inches thick, ribs are 13 inches deep and the width of ribs is 4 inch. The center to center distance between the ribs is 24, 5 ksi, rebar yield strength 60, drop panel thickness since there is no drop panel erase it and dimension of drop panel which is also to be erased. Now save it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for much more to come.